Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is KB Worth Saving 101, and I am KB, Kim Baker. This is your first time visiting me, then welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, you guys rock. You're making my day. I'm going through a lot of crap. All right. Um, anyway, um, if you're interested in reseller tips and tricks and the, the things that I learn along my journey, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button down below because yeah, you know the rest. I need some good algorithm with YouTube. Okay. Um, it's Thrift Talk Thursday, guys. And guess what? I overdid it again. So... <laughs> let's dive in let's see what I got um, of course if you see anything you want do um, message me uh, I have my information down below and yeah we're just gonna dive in because it's a big one <sighs> Got carried away again actually it wasn't too bad I think I only spent $47 and I got two full priced items that were close to 10 so it really wasn't bad but most of the items I got were two pieces, so it makes it a little bit bigger than normal. Um, so there you go. All right, um, here we go. This is American Living, and, um, you know, let's see. It is a 88% wool, um, but um, I'm going to do a little bit more research. I don't know how old that company is. Um, let me see the RN number. Oh, move these tags. I just haven't had time. Are you serious? My life is like, ah, oh, upside down. Um, let me see. What's the R end? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So, um, American Living has been around long enough. Um, I will Google to see. Um, I don't necessarily think it's vintage, but it definitely gives me, um, I don't know, yacht vibes. So, yacht club and things I'm going to list for that. Did I say it's a size six? Wool blend um, blazer, and I don't even know what does this say. It says American Living. Um, I did find a patch in one of the pockets, but it was for a, um, a school. So, um, but they didn't put it on, which was great. Um, there you go. Um, that's another one I could always put prep school, um, academia. Um, so there you go. All right, move it. <clears throat> moving right along. Who are you? This is Rabbit Designs size 12 made in vietnam um anyway um i do think this one also might be a vintage piece i'm more googling but um i got it just for the print of it um it, the lighting's not doing it justice it is this beautiful purple and it's really turning out pale and almost blue there but it is a, like a lilac purple with cream and brown so um sleeveless um, sheath dress. So yes, we'll see how that does. Okay. This is one of my bread and butters. I did pick it up. Um, it is a size one Chico's, but it is this black velour full, um, just below the knee skirt a line. Um, and I think that should do a very, very well. Okay, on to who are you? Oh, here we go. Uh, this is Dress Barn Collection Woman. And again, I'm believing it's vintage. Um, it's very different. I don't know if, what the heck is going on here. Um, the tag is here, but I believe this is the front. So um, anyway, it is definitely like an 80s style off the shoulder kind of um, chiffon with this um, I don't know, jeweled accent. Or was that? Oh, guess what? That is a brooch that has been actually applied there. So maybe that is the back. I don't know. I'll have to take it off and take a peek. Um, it looks very cool there. Um, and it has this pleated back like mermaid skirt so if that is the back that would mean this is the front um i don't know very different and again 
you know, velour, I'm going to use my good old uh, witchy vibes. Okay. <clears throat> Um, this one's a vest. I have no info on it, not a stitch, and um, I just thought it was really super cute. Oh my lord! Ugh, here we go. Uh, not. Uh, I found a boo boo. I missed it. Um, the collar currently is coming off, so um, this will be one of my TV projects. But I think it is really cute. Um, it is this. Um, it is a collared with these, I don't remember what the knots are. They love knots, the Chinese love knots. I think that's what they are. Um, like, I don't know, shaggy, short shagged, pocketed vest. And maybe it is handmade because the stitching looks actually quite large. So, um, I don't know. And it's definitely imperfect. So handmade, great. I will fix that stitching and take size measurements and go from there. All right, guys, you have no idea. I'm going to go through and do this. I'm sorry, I can't take it anymore. It is really hot in here. I don't have a fan. I should have a fan. And I should turn down the air, but I didn't on either. And so, okay. <sighs> either there I'm having a hot flash, which, you yeah, know, very possible. All right. <laughs> Moving along. Here we go. This happens to be, it has been pouring. It is so humid and I don't do well with the, the storms coming in and out. It, I'm usually exhausted. I'm white. So yeah, it's right now bet between that and the stress, I am just like fit to be tied. Um, I haven't listened to anything in over a week. Um, and yes, but thank God daily sales. Thank God they're still going out and I'm still making over a thousand every month on Posh. So there you go. Um, this happens to be Serena Williams Signature Statement 2X, 100% polyester, but I got it because, again, there's a lot of metallics, guys, and metallics do really good for me. You really can't probably see this. It's a nice, um, not necessarily a bright silver, almost like a gun metal. There you go. Almost like an almost. Um, it has some ruching here on the sleeves, so you could probably pull that up. Um, it does have pockets. It is one button single breasted and like i said nice large size i think it should do fabulous okay two the next all right i haven't done enough research um because of the tag i'm in question of this might be maybe a 90s and it might be a today's there you go um but it does look vintage to me um, and it looks very equestrian. So um, it's got this, it's like this adobe, which is one of the colors for fall. So it has a lot of things going for it, even if it isn't a vintage. But um, one of the reasons why I'm going to say that, again, on this tag, there's this little R, which is like your trademark. So um, th that's really not put on clothes today. So I'm going to say that it is vintage. It is this really super cute sleeveless, um, and you can see the detail uh, of the, I don't know, the, the buttons, the fake buttons, um, and the fake pockets, but it is um, exposed, and it's got a really nice zipper to it. Um, it did have a belt, but it doesn't have it. And again, it's like, I don't know, I would definitely say it's like an A-line because it has more um, a fullness on the bottom, and... Um, it's just really adorable and very equestrian like for me especially with the color and stuff so i think even though um yeah i'm questioned um you know when i'm in question if i can't really date it um i'll put retro i don't mind um i still list it high all right here we go on to my next vintage piece um this is an adriana by Teresa page so yeah it's not even an Adriana Papel. It's an Adriana. It says it's a four petite, and um, it is 100%. Um, it's got like spandex, and it's velour. It has a mandarin collar, very oriental, short sleeve, um, maxi to the floor. Ooh, let that be a sale. Um, love those. All right, and wait, with a side slit. Um, I definitely love this dress in this royal blue. Look at that. 
So um, I think that'll do phenomenal. Um, I don't know. I might list that at like, I'm not sure, 75 and above. I know that for sure. 75 and above. <clears throat> I might put it in the hundreds. All right. This is a two piece. This happens to be a vintage and it's a Sally two. Um, I don't even think I have a material tag, but this two piece, you know, like I said, equestrian. Um, wow, it's turning out really purple there. It's more of a maroon. Um, it has shoulder pads. Boo boo boo. And um, nice little uh, button down. Long. So if you can see, as I step back, ta da! Like a little duster kind of length. Um, and it has this sleeveless sheath dress, which um, you know, in all honesty, I don't think that this by itself is going to get me a whole heck of a lot of money. Um, especially since, can I read what it's made out of? Anything particular? Um, yeah, there's no like special ingredients. 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 Materials. There's no special materials in it. So um, what I'm going to probably do is I probably will list this particular two-piece together, although I know the jacket will definitely sell. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind on that because, yeah, the jacket will definitely sell. Um, not that the dress won't. It just won't go for, you know, I might list that one for like 29 and sell it for 25 and get like 20 bucks. Um, it's not like anything over the top for vintage. All right. And if you watched my channel before, everybody say it. I got it for the print of it. Um, this is a New York and company. And I do believe this one is vintage. It's hundred percent cotton, uh, size 14. And it is this absolutely adorable. I don't know. What would you kind of call that plaid? Um, but yes, um, I don't know, maybe I put Scottish. It has like that pleated bottom. Um, and uh, of course I'll put ac academia school girl, yada, yada, yada. Oh my gosh, this piece is gorgeous. Guys, I did not arrange these. I just have bags and bags, and I'm so sorry. I'm such a mess. All right, because normally I like to leave my favorites to the end. I do have my full price favorites that I will show at the end. But um, these pieces, like this one, happens to be one of my favorites too. I don't know. I, you know, I'm picking up a bunch of, yeah, they're just going to be all my favorites from here on out, I think. Um, so this happens to be, uh, no tag on it. it, has a tag on here. Um, it says petite. It's a nana. It's a vintage nana petite. Um, I want to say it, it might have said 12, or, but of course, when it's vintage, I will be taking the measurements. Again, this is a sleeveless. Um, give me one second. Don't go away. Uh, let's see if I can do this. Boom. Boom. Oh. Dang, I'm not supposed to do that anymore. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. Anyway. Lord in heaven, I'm losing my mind. All right. So again, this piece, um, but wait till you see this jacket. It is to die for. So I think, yeah, these people probably, you know, they cleared out their closet. I don't know, maybe somebody passed, which would be really sad. But look at this. And I'm so sorry, guys, it is not. It is a royal blue. So it is a deeper blue. It's turning out really washed out there. And I'm like, look, look at all this beading detail. It is so cool. Um, in this little cropped bolero style, open front um, blazer. Well, it actually does have, it can be closed, sorry. It can be worn closed, um, but yes, definitely a bolero because look, that little cropped. So um, I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Um, fantastic piece. All right, <clears throat> next. Oh. Guess what? I found some more of my personal favorites, my house dresses and my PJs. So this one has no tag. I'm sure it's a one size. It is in this beautiful lilac color. And yes, I wear these all day, every day. Mine. And I found another one. Surprise! I don't know. If you guys really like these and think I should be selling them, that's let me know because I currently am like overflowing, but when I see them, I can't pass them up because I do love them so very much. Um, 
so yeah, this one just has different colors. It does have like a little lace up. It looks like they got rid of the other um, tie here. A little bit of a collar, which I've never had on one before. But again, it's just, yeah, my gauzy dresses for summer while we're in the midst of the heat. All right. All right. Again, another two piece. Um, and let's see. Uh, this one has absolutely zip on a tie. So let's see if the skirt does. It is a two piece skirt. It has a butterfly print. It is, I believe, 100% like rayon. Um, very packable. I will put that in description. And oh no, I'm sorry. It's polyester spandex. Rayon. All right, brain farts. I'm having one of those days. Um, and let's see. Made in the USA. Size large. Um, of course, I think that's going to be more coincided to more of a medium these days because yeah um elastic waist um like more again like a long a-line skirt because it gets larger at the bottom in this red floral not red floral it is red butterfly butterfly not floral um print and it does have the matching top that goes with it um again the top wouldn't sell very much by itself so i don't know um, hey, why don't you guys leave comments down below if you put them together or if you sell them separately since, you know, I'm a little on the brain fried side. All right, next, this is a David's Bridal, and we are a size, what size are we? I want to say 16. It is a 16, and it is this silver um, little, gosh, you guys, it's flashing the lights, strapless, you can't even say it, disco. I get closer maybe um little rolled edge fit and flare with some pleats and it does have pockets mini dress for um you know wedding whatnot so there you go all right another vintage two piece let's let me not lie about this one all right let's see we are boop, 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 boop. Now, and you know what, and I have to do some more research on this. It says it's a medium, and this is a brand called Piccadilly, which I think I've actually heard of, so I'm not quite sure. And it says that it's acetate and spandex. Um, it is this beautiful royal blue, packable, great. God, this person had to have been tall. So um, I might actually even put tall in there, but it is a pant set um, in this gorgeous, like I said, it's like that ribbed, um, stretchy, um, definitely 80s pant, and the top is a just a nice little button-down collared short sleeve with shoulder pants. All right. Uh, this one I picked up because it's Mata International. It's supposed to be an expensive brand. It is this white, like, wrap dress. Let's see, and I apologize, guys, when I get my crap together, hopefully I'll have my hangers back, my racks back, my life back. No, I probably won't get that back, but anyway. <laughs> so it's a little wrap dress I've got with the tie, um, mini, and I don't believe, oh, I just tied it so I wouldn't lose it. Help, help. Can you see? Sorry. So it just wrap ties in the front. It's not really a wrap dress. Um, there's no pockets, great stretchy material. Um, again, like a dolman kind of sleeve. Sorry about the light reflecting on me. All right, now this one is kind of funny because yes, um, it is vintage and shop thrilling one of their front photos that I just recently had saw had like a dress with this print on it. So I'm really stoked about that. Um, it says it's a 4P and it says it's the brand Sweet. Um, the rest of the tag you cannot read whatsoever. And yes, check this out. Oh my gosh. That is so stinking adorable. I don't know. Is that a 70s? I don't know. 80s? But it is, yeah, loud, obnoxious, um, and I got it for the print of it. All right. Ugh, 
some days you guys I, you find a ton of really good stuff and other days you just don't find nothing but yeah this day I just I just kept going and when I get past my exhaustion level or I'm hangry <laughs> which I always take food bars and water, but uh, yeah, I got I think I got hangry and exhausted, which I'm about right now. Um, it is a Nicole by Nicole Miller Extra Large. It's just a polyester, but she does very well for me. She has sold on Poshmark and on Tradesy, so there you go. Um, it is this really super cute um, lace cut out striped, um, I don't know, island print top. Oh, look, there's some parrots. Do you see the parrots? So yes, and size extra large. All right, ready? I gotta get going faster because I have like four more bags, guys. I overdid it, I overdid it, I overdid it. All right, this happens to be a Michael Michael Kors size 12. And you know what? I don't know. I might take this into a buy-sell trade um, for the older ladies. Uh, we'll see. But um, it looks like, again, it's one of those pieces where it just wraps. Um, and yeah, I might give her up. So I'm gonna set that in like a little separate pile. And if I go through and do any of those things, I will definitely do videos for you guys. I do try, even though I, you know, I don't have the editing, I don't have any of the other great stuff that goes along with making videos. <laughs> All right, this is a signature by Robbie B, size 20W cotton, and then fully lined. Again, it's a black and white print. I do love the print. It's got that surplus um, empire, and do we have, I'm always feeling for pockets. I don't, no, I don't know pockets, um, and it's just, it's a midi dress, so Yes, super cute. Love it. It's almost like, um, uh, I don't know. Oh, look, is that a face? All right, somebody tell me what they see. I don't know, are those two elephants butts together? Or is that a face with like, you know, like, I don't know, a sad, a sad rabbit or something? Um, tell me what you guys see in this print. <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm getting loopy. Um, next, here we go. This one is a BCBG Max Azaria, and I picked it up because it is a retro. I will definitely list it as a retro. I don't think it's anything else. Um, it looks very 70s, um, size medium. My girls are really big into the 70s look. Um, this has definitely the 70s color um, and vibe, if you can see that brown. And that's actually more of a, mm, it's got more of that greenish kind of color to it with, um, yeah. Anyway, um, it's just, short sleeve mock wrap um tie waisted um I, and you can put that i don't know house dress or whatever okay another vintage piece and it is by uh jones new york signature it is 100 percent cotton but it is so stinking cute um islands tropical um if you can see without the color being washed out it is beautiful it's vibrant it has this little ruffle detail down at the bottom um it does have it is like a panel pleated like a panel pleated skirt so um yeah i think that's adorable and those kinds of things do well for me all right next whoo guys i overdid it all right this happens to be again a vintage it's i don't know Cassie is of California, which is no big deal. Um, size 10, and it's 100% rayon, um, and it's like a Hawaiian dress to me. Um, it's got this collar uh, split button, um, button down front, sleeveless shirt kind of dress with pockets. Um, I love the colors. Um, I think this is fabulous. Yeah. You know what? Maybe I'll try it on. Anyway, it may be listed, it may not. We'll see. Oh my gosh, this one's all stick out. Ready? So, 80s. Takes me back. This is um, Briar 2, and it is a size 7, which I will coincide with, you know. So, 7 would be like a junior. Um, but, 
uh, yes, this is vintage. So I will put the measurements in and I will list it under women's, not under um, juniors. I never list anything on juniors if I can help it because yeah, it doesn't really sell, but this is stinking adorable. It is this, you know, you can tie it in the front, um, velour off the shoulder with this metallic blue rosette and uh, mini puff from like, what do you, Cindy Lauper? Who else do you think of when you see this? With this really large, um, I don't know, is that a sailor collar in the back? Um, very, very 80s. There you go. Super stinking cute, can't wait. All right. I'm hoping I don't have very much more, guys. All right, this one, it's missing its buttons, but it is vintage. It's a Lisa Renee, and um, I got it because it has some really cool detail to it. And somebody can replace, it's missing all of its buttons. All right, you're gonna have a hard time. It's almost, it's like a silver. Actually, if you can see, it's like a gray silver. And look at this um, sateen rosette. Um, it also has um, like statement sleeves with beading in the sateen, but all of the front bus buttons are missing. You could take it off then just wear it open. It is collared, it would be a beautiful mother of the bride. It has a two piece, so here comes the skirt. I'm gonna say what a size. I don't know, what size, Lisa? Lisa Renee, it, this one says 12. And um, this one has, which you're not gonna be able to see until I get up close. So it has like, I don't know, this mermaid style bottom. And again, that sateen layer so, and that's the back. Um, it's very, very cool. High low um, mermaid style with that sateen that would be peeking out by your shoes almost, you know what I'm saying? So beautiful mother of the bride piece. Yes. And then to, all right, your shoes, shoes. One more bag of clothes, more on to shoes and purses. So let's go. All right, I got this for my granddaughter, which I can't wait to see. She'll be two on the 12th of September, and I haven't seen her since May 20th. So when I say, you guys, my life is crazy, and um, it is crazy nasty. I hate to say that. So we're doing a custody battle, but this is just the most adorable. You can see it's got all that ribbon detailing. It is vintage. Um, if it survives her, I will list it, but um, yes got that ribbon down below it is so stinking adorable it says 4t and it is bonnie jean so you know unless this is like worth a mint like a hundred dollars I might look it up but um I can't wait to see her. all right oh, okay. this is to die for it is a kind of cool New York size small leather jacket in a beautiful almost um, you know, white is really big for fall. It's not actually called white. It's called coconut. Um, and this does look like the coconut color. It is like a duster length. If it was smaller, or smaller, if it was bigger, I'd keep it. But I'm a little too big for it. And I'm sorry, you're not getting all the gorgeous details to it. Um, yes, it has slit pockets. It's nice and long. This, ah, uh, it feels so stinking good. Fully lined. Um, and this, I think, should do very, very well. Okay. Me and my leather. Here's another leather piece. This is just Karen Kane Lifestyle Petite, size large. And I will do some more research because this one may or may not um, be a vintage. Uh, and this one happens to have a metallic... Um, white gold, I guess I would say. It's not really silver and it's not really gold. So, and I'm getting paled out by where this light is hitting me. Can I move you? Maybe that does better. There we go. Anyway, it is just a nice little blazer. I think again, that should do real for fall. If you guys are into leather, come see me. Anybody looking for leather? I got me leather. All right, next. This is Sherry Martin, New York Petites Vintage, um, size eight, made in the USA. Just this little, and I would label this modest sheath, um, shot, the church dress. So it is already layered with its own duster. Um, and it is in this pale, 
like, guys, I'm so sorry. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a, it's not as, it looks almost white there, guys. It is a like a golden yellow um, and navy. So there you go. Full print on the back. Yes. All right, there's all my clothes. Under the shoes. We're almost done. Thank you for hanging in there because we're at 30 minutes already. All right, these happen to be uh, Franco Sarto. And, sorry, sorry. Yeah, you guys get all the light and I can't see crap. Um, this is the Wenda. It's the Wenda Leather Upper 8.5, um, like little heeled ankle booties, I guess, in this uh, camel color. So, um, yes, it was orange, the color of the week. Yes, it was. Um, making sure it wasn't one of my full price items. Because I know I did get some. Oh, I think they're over there. All right, these are um, just Fiona, but they are, and you're not going to be able to see, It's it looks silver, but it's more of that pink metallic. It's like a pink rose gold metallic um, pair of heeled, just little pumps, tiny heel. Um, and what size are we? Seven and a half. Size seven and a half super cute they do not look to be like really ever worn so perfect okay still my one dollar items i found a pair i think these are so super cool let me see if they can oh it's this side do you see that stitching detail this is a pair of vintage boots um and do i have it is a z a l e I A and let's see what else can I read on here? Brazil. Um, it says it's a size eight. Um, but yeah. All right, so there you go. Um, and they're vintage and in this nice, really super cool pale um camel color. And I love that detail. So so cool for a buck. All right. Here we go. Only two more items left. Three more. This is my yeah. All right. So this one was a dollar, and this happens to be Stone Co. Um, and it is just a leather purse. Um, I don't think you're gonna be able to see the colors to it, guys. It it has like a um. There. See that? See that? It has a green um tie dye with this black leather. I don't know if that's on purpose or maybe it like got transfer or something. I don't know, but I think it's really super cool. And for a buck, this nice leather in Stone Co., um, I definitely think I'll make a profit on it. So there you go. Next. Okay. I'll leave that pair. That's like my coolest. All right. I picked this up full price. Um, it was $6.49. So 20% off because I got my 20% off coupon. So that would be like $5.29. And um, this is Elliot Luca. Okay. Um, and um, I like, and this is nothing. It's just a decorative little piece with some side pockets. But that really is, I think it's just, no, it's a snap. Never mind. It is a decorative piece, but with a snap pocket. There you go, Kim. Get with it. Um, leather purse, and it is a crossbody, so it has um, some small handles. It also has another outside snap purse, oh, outside snap purse, outside snap pocket, um, interior pockets, and yes, this is, I think, supposed to be a pretty expensive brand, so I thought for five something, I will pick it up. There you go. Now, for my favorite piece, it does have some, it, it does have... Okay, I'll show you, and then I'll tell you what's wrong with it. All right, so these are, who are you again? I don't even know. I was like, oh, I'm getting them. I don't care. Um, and I think that they are, okay, they are Via Spiga, which is really a highly expensive brand. They're made in Italy. Um, they are leather, and it looks like they are a nine and a half medium. Now, uh, they are just missing this heel. So I might take them in because look at this. They are like this calf hair, knee high, 
he yelled um, giraffe print boot. Is that not super cool? And what did I pay for you guys? I don't know. Um, they were $9.79. So that would have been like, I don't know, a dollar eighty off. So a dollar from nine is eight. So like eight bucks. I paid eight dollars for these. Um, I think they're really super cool. Pointy toe. Again, like I said, I believe these are vintage, but um, I'll have to do some more research. All right, guys, you made it to the end. I made it to the end. So I really, truly appreciate it. I do hope you come back and see me. Um, I have no idea. Um, I'm going to let you know right now. I don't know how consistent my videos will be, but anytime I put one up, please join me. Uh, I love you all. You made my day because it's been kind of rotten. Um, and until next time.